Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to create a mail merge using Google Sheets, Google Docs, and an add-in called Autocrat. Once you have Autocrat installed, go to Add-ons, Autocrat, and Open. School recently had a field day where students had custom schedules and I used Autocrat and Google Sheets to create custom schedules through a mail merge. There are lots of uses for this, but this is how I used it. So to get started, click on New Job and allow Autocrat to do its work. Then give your job a name. Next step's where all the magic happens. From here, you can select a Google Doc to use as a template. Now this template is gonna have what are called tags in it. And Autocrat's gonna search those tags and automatically align them with columns inside of your Google Sheet. That'll make a whole lot more sense here in just a second. Now that we're in Google Docs, you can see that I have a whole bunch of tags. And how Autocrat uses tags is it's a carrot and carrot, followed by letters, numbers, whatever you want, and then an ending carrot and carrot. Whatever's in between there, Autocrat will automatically identify as a tag, and you can relate those tags to columns in order to generate information. To select your template and hit next, Autocrat will grab the tags and try to associate them with columns that it finds inside of your Google Sheet. If you happen to have multiple sheets, you can choose the exact sheet that the tag should appear on. As you can see, my FN tag will map to the column that is labeled FN. It's important to know that these don't have to match. It just makes it easier in my book to keep them matched, but it doesn't matter. They can be completely different names and you can map them to each other and it'll work just fine. Once everything's mapped, go ahead and hit next and you're gonna give your document a file name. Now this is gonna be a file that's gonna pop up inside of your Google Drive, which is eventually where this is gonna download to. You can choose if you wanted to create new Google Docs or a PDF, which is I chose to do. You can also out to multiple files or just one single file that will continue more and more pages as it goes through. Once you've made your selection, hit next. And now you're going to tell Autocrat where you want to save your file inside of your Google Drive. We'll then have a couple of other options that I've honestly never used, so I'm just going to skip this part because I don't use them. Uh, once everything's done, you'll hit save and it's going to go through and generate the job or it's going to run the process and go through the entire process of creating your mail merge. Now the job's not actually run, it's just kind of going through and associating everything. At this point, you have to hit the play button to run the job and it's going to go through the process of actually generating the file. In my case, it's going to output a PDF that is set up exactly like my Google Doc is. This will take some time, so just give Autocrat some time to work and make sure that your computer doesn't time out or anything like that. Once completed, go into your Google Drive of the folder you specified and take a look. There should be a new file in there of the mail merge totally completed. And there it is, the completed mail merge. Yeah, I'm just going to show you one page because I don't feel like blurring out all of my kids' names, but basically you have something that's set up exactly like the Google Doc was. It just went through and auto-filled all of the information and went row by row and filled it and changed it for each different student or each different row that popped up in the Google Sheet. And for comparison, the left side is the final output and the right side is the Google Doc that has the tags in it that was referenced. So you can see they look the exact same, they're just filled out with information. If you need any help with that, please leave me comments down below or visit the website that I have linked in the description which will take you to my post on this process and describe it in a little bit more detail. 